I had thought that a catastrophe would mix up all the, the particles and make a homogenized deposit. Boy, was I wrong. Right here, a pyroclastic flow moving at freeway speed or higher can separate particles into coarse and fine. So layering doesn't require millions of years, thousands of years, or even hundreds of years. It can form rapidly in this slurry flow process. All right, now, uh, that was a great clip, but there's a lot of men in our audience that, that need to be told things twice. There, there's a lot of men in our audience that need to be told things twice. So let's cover again what that was, was talking about, because what he just said was absolutely huge. The layering of sediments doesn't necessarily take a long period of time. It can actually happen very quickly. That's, that's, right. that's amazing. So uh, was this something you found interesting about Mount St. Helens, Kyle? Definitely. I mean, I've been studying Mount St. Helens. I mean, it's in my backyard. I'm in Portland. I, can, <laughs> I saw it. In fact, I saw it go off when I was 10 years old, you know, in May wow. uh, 18th, 1980. So, you know, it's stuck wow. in everyone's mind who, who grew up here. And, um, but a lot of the detail, you know, I, I didn't know. And it was, it was great to go up and, and to see that. Um, you know, the thing is, like Dr. Austin said, you know, when he was going to university, so often over and over and over was this whole concept of you know that it took long periods of time to create layering and stratified layering and different kinds of layering and uh, but you know I've always seen pictures of it but to actually go there and to have them pointed out and to see that was was really amazing mm -hmm.